Hello Internet. Today is Monday, January 25th. Thank you so much for watching Hot Button Hashtags. My name is Adam. You know, five months ago, I recorded a video uh, and posted it here on this channel uh, that last night saved thousands and thousands of lives. That was my earthquake survival video. I told you exactly what you need to do in the event of an earthquake. And last night here in Anchorage, Alaska, we had a 7.1 earthquake. Uh, I have lived here almost my whole life. Hands down, the scariest experience I've ever had, the strongest earthquake I have ever been through. Um, and I am so thankful that I watched my own video and knew exactly what to do. But did you know that there is more to earthquake preparedness than knowing what to do in the middle of an earthquake? So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to have in your earthquake kit. Not sponsored by Lowe's, just happens to be the bucket we use. Um, so that you are prepared for life after the earthquake. So here are the items that Sherry and I have in our earthquake preparedness kit. Uh, I'm going to show them to you so you can go out and create one of these kits uh, so that you stay alive. Now the first item we have, uh, these uh, emergency candles. Now the reason you want things like this is that like, you know, I'm a married man, right? You know, and so Sherry and I, uh, after an earthquake, like we might want to have like a date night. You know, we might want to have a romantic evening and our house is destroyed, we don't have any stuff. But you know what? You can still set the mood with candles. The next item here in our uh, bucket of oh, safety, uh, this is a pack of uh, work gloves. These are like extreme work gloves. Uh, and this is for something, uh, maybe after the earthquake you pick up a landscaping job, right? Like you're getting some side work and you just want, you just want something to protect your hands. Like you probably lotioned a lot so your hands are soft. And you don't want uh, you don't want to get rough hands after an earthquake. Like you want to keep you want to keep that silky smoothness. Gloves are the way to do that. Now, what emergency kit would be complete uh, without duct tape? So we have an entire roll in here. Uh, this stuff is so versatile. You, uh, you can use it to catch ducks, I think. So that's food. You can pretty much repair anything in your house that's broken. If your house fell down in an earthquake, with enough of this, you can make it like just stand back up so duct tape then we have this is the water filtration system uh, some people put just like packets of water in there you could do that as well I just have like a water filter uh, this allows you to drink any water like lake water uh, puddle water toilet water uh, I probably will make cherry drink the toilet water I will drink puddle water maybe next we have our first aid kit. First aid kit, hugely important. Um, this probably isn't going to treat any major injuries, but if I'm honest, like the way I act around blood, I'm probably not going to treat any major injuries anyway. So this gives us at least something so we feel kind of prepared. Um, yeah, I'm sure 15 adhesive bandages uh, are what we're going to need if our house collapses. So we're about halfway done here uh, in our emergency kit. And one thing that people often forget, if you have pets, you often forget food for your pets. So we have uh, some food here for Missy, our cat. Uh, our goal with Missy, obviously with all your pets after an earthquake, uh, would be to keep them alive, uh, plumping them up so that you eventually can use them for meat and fur during the coming apocalypse. So again, this is just to get her fat and happy and then meat and fur at the, uh, at the savage market that uh, will inevitably uh, happen. Our next item, uh, oh, glow sticks. These are important because, I don't know, like you might find a rave maybe. This next item is one that many people might not think to have in their emergency kit. Uh, this is a, a mini monopod or a selfie stick. Now hear me out on this. An earthquake or natural disaster is going to be terrible enough as it is, right? So why not give yourself a silver lining? Can you imagine how many Instagram likes and how many like retweets and Facebook, li Facebook likes you're going to get when you are posting awesome photos of the disaster for the world to see? A selfie stick could really help your social standing. The next item is a knife because of shanking. The next item is toilet paper because of pooping. And the last item here in our earthquake survival kit is one of these handy dandy little crank things. Have you seen this? This is great because if you do this for like, I think it's six and a half hours, 
you can get 12 minutes, oh, look at that, of light. But not only that, you also get terrible radio. And that's really great, but there's an added benefit from this. So the disaster is like gone on, you're probably not gonna be able to get to the gym. You don't gotta give up your fitness routine. You do this all day long, and you are at the very least gonna continue to mainstay your svelte look. Now the final item, uh, the very last thing in our earthquake uh, survival kit is actually the bucket itself. This is not just something that all of the items go in. This can be used for hauling debris. This could be used for carrying water from a local source. This could be used for pooping as a toilet. So this is important. Sorry, Lowe's, that I suggested people poop in your buckets, but it, it, it's an earthquake. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is what you need in your earthquake survival kit to be prepared for the next earthquake. Obviously, this really is not a joking uh, matter. Uh, last night's earthquake did scare uh, the poop out of both Sherry and myself. Um, and so we are glad that we have these things in our house. I do think that if you live uh, not just in an earthquake zone, in any area where natural disasters could potentially happen at a moment's notice, it is really good to be prepared. Uh, so get yourself something like this. Go out and put it together. Uh, in the event you need it, which we hope you never will, uh, you will be very, very glad you have it. Now, as I wrap up this video, I just wanna remind you uh, something I covered in the very first earthquake video, and these are the three things you're supposed to do in an earthquake. They are to get down, not dancing, literally get down on the floor, cover up, and hold on. Those are the three things. Now, you would think that my loving, adoring wife, who clearly watches every single Hot Button Hashtags video, would have known in last night's earthquake to do those three things. She did not. The three things that my wife did, panic, freeze, and cry. Not nearly as helpful during a natural disaster.